Far from Gulf Coast hurricanes and California wildfires, Chicagoland seems like a safe place to be in a warming world. But is it? I would say there's really no place in the world that is truly a climate haven. It's more a matter of picking your poison. Dr. Christina so, Dahl is a climate yeah, researcher. My top concerns would probably be um, increased flood risk. Heavy rain is now 10% heavier than it was in 1970. Just this summer, 500 year and 1000 year rain events devastating Chicago neighborhoods. And I would also worry about the wildfire smoke. As nearby Canada heats up, vegetation dries out, leading to record setting wildfire seasons. We are seeing a significant number of days with wildfire smoke in the Chicago area. 45 to 50 each year, according to Climate Central. That's one day a week when unhealthy wildfire smoke is present in the air we breathe. Babies can be born with breathing issues because their mothers were exposed to intense wildfire smoke during their pregnancies. What about access to fresh water? As supplies dwindle in other parts of the country, we have Lake Michigan. The Great Lakes hold 84% of all the surface fresh water in North America and supply drinking water for 40 million people, including Chicago. While we won't run out of water anytime soon, lake temperatures have been heating up. It was a record warm year for Lake Michigan. David Wright is a physical scientist who studies the Great Lakes. Trying to understand how a change in that water temperature plays in the atmosphere. A warmer lake can warm Chicago area temperatures, affect thunderstorm patterns, and fuel bigger lake effect snow events when winter comes around things that I think often gets left out of these discussions of climate havens is like a haven for whom maybe it is if you can afford an air purifier that can run on smoky days. Maybe it is if you can flood proof your home or raise your home. But there are a lot of people for whom those aren't options. David Yeomans, CBS News, Chicago. Climate Central estimates that breathing wildfire smoke has killed five to 10,000 people in Illinois in the last 15 years. Experts recommend using a high quality home air filter and limiting your time outdoors on smoky days.